everybody. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing great. I uh, just wanted to get on here for a few seconds and just go over a couple scriptures. Uh, today I am going to go over, I think, Charles Stanley's In Touch magazine today. I went ahead and did my scripture writing for today and tomorrow since it was uh, on the same subject in the same book of the Bible, so, and I might not be able to get to it tomorrow in a timely manner, so I did both of them yesterday, and that's perfectly fine if you ever have to do that. It's no big deal. Um, but anyway, we'll just hop right into it. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name's Sheree, and I hope you all enjoy this video. You can check out my other videos. Give it a thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe, uh, hit the little notification bell, and when new videos come up, uh, you'll be notified. So hang on just a second, and I'll reposition the camera. Okay, I have got my In Touch magazine in this notebook. So I'm going to go over to it, and I will turn over. Today is the 5th, and it's called God's Provisions for Your Success. Here we go. Let's try to make sure you're in frame. Joshua 1, 1 through 9 are the verses for today. Joshua 1, 1 through 9. Okay. The book of Joshua. Okay, there you are. All right. Uh, God's Commission to Joshua After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan. Uh, the children of Is go over this Jordan. Yeah, that's right. Go over this Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Okay. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses from the wilderness, and this Lebanon as far as the great, wait, yeah, that's right, I'm sorry, I'm getting so confused, I'm confusing myself. Let's start at verse 3, I apologize. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses from the wilderness, and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Herites, and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, as I with Moses, so I will be with you. So as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage, for this people you shall... For to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the, <laughs> gizmo, the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand nor to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and have good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Love that. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Okay? I don't know how many times that's in the Bible, but I love it every time. Okay. Then it says, God's provisions for your success. Whenever our goals align with the Lord's, we can count on His help in achieving them. This truth is vi vividly confirmed in the story of Joshua. Since God the Father gave him the huge responsibility of leading the Israelites into the promised land, He also provided everything Joshua would need for success. We will do the same for he will do the same for us every time we believe Him and step up to fulfill the goals that He has set for us. His promises. God assured Joshua that He would give him the land and no one would be able to stand against Him in the, way, in the same way. Gizmo! 
The Lord will enable you to achieve whatever he's called you to do, and neither man nor the devil will be able to thwart his purposes. You just need to stand firm in faith. His power. Be strong and courageous because you will encounter obstacles that challenge your obedience. Such boldness isn't something we must... Uh, put on one. We must within ourselves. It's developed through reliance upon the Lord. Courage comes when our faith is stronger than our fear. That's a good one. His word. Joshua's success depended upon his obedience to God's word. The same is true for me and for you. If God's truth isn't shaping our thoughts, words, and actions, we will naturally go our own way and miss the path that he's planned for us. Everything you need to succeed in life is provided for you by God. But these provisions are available only when you choose to follow his plans. If you ignore the Lord and set your own goals without his direction, you may get what you want, but it won't be true success. Isn't that the truth? Um, let me do something here. His mo honey, seriously. I swear it never, it's like he knows what I'm doing. Now, he hadn't bothered that all morning until I got on here. Okay. You just need to stand firm in faith. I'm going to highlight that. And I love this. Courage comes when our faith is stronger than our fear. I love that too. If God's truth isn't shaping our paths, words, and actions will naturally go our own way and miss the path that He has planned for us, that He has planned for us. Oh boy, that's so true. And I'm going to do this in my Bible right here. Joshua 1 through 9. Am I in your frame here? I tried to turn this camera around. Nobody liked it the way I had it because... It was backwards, but I thought it looked like you were across the table from me. But I must not have gotten that right in my head. <laughs> so anyway, I won't do that again, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to put on here. Let me get you in here. Okay. Okay. You just need... I like to write these little notes in my Bible where the scriptures are. Because if somebody's going over this in a Sunday school class, I might be able to add what I've learned in this. Firm in faith. Okay. And courage. Comes when our faith is stronger than our fear. So, I love that. So that is good. I mean, I just write these little notes in my Bible and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I had faith stickers in here. Or a sticker that said faith. Let me look here. I'm sure there's got to be one in here that says faith. Probably passing that. Okay, faith, 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 faith. I know I've used some of my faith ones. You're all probably seeing it saying, Sheree, it's there. No, you passed it. <laughs> I don't see faith on there. <laughs> Whoopsie. I didn't mean to knock the camera. I'm sorry. Wait, I was on that one. Ha, faith. <laughs> okay, here we go. And this seemed to talk about faith. So I'm going to put faith up here so when I'm reading through this and I'm thumbing through my book and my Bible, I'll see that something on this page is about faith. 
and that'll help me out.